What's up YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. This is your boy Archie Beats and I am here to help. And welcome to my new studio, Radio Music. And today we are talking about my top three headphones for under $200. <laughs> When it comes to a recording studio, home or commercial, headphones are extremely important. They're part of the monitoring and playback signal flow. And you want to make sure you're getting something most importantly decent. And you don't want all that bleeding into your microphone. So today we're going to talk about my top three headphones that are closed back for your home recording studio solution. But before we get started, if you guys are interested in anything that you've seen at my home project studio or my recording studio or radio music, please click below because I am an Amazon influencer and I have everything listed on there below and I have other gear that could possibly help you on your creative journey. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you won't miss another video. So without further ado guys, let's get right to it. So before we get started on these headphones, you guys know the routine. I like to cover four key highlights with these headphones. The first key highlight we're going to cover is the price. How much does these headphones cost? Second, we're going to cover the impedance. The impedance is the factor that decide if you need more power or not to your headphones. Basically headphones with higher impedance level over 25 ohms ohms is what it's measured in requires a little more power to reach a higher audio level cheaper headphones have low impedance which make them loud and very easy to break such as earbuds which you can easily blow them this is why you replace those cheap earbuds all the time they have really low impedance Third, we're gonna cover the frequency response. Where on the frequency spectrum does these headphones project? And last is comfortability. On a scale from one to 10, in my opinion, how comfortable are these headphones? And I threw this factor in there because, hey, you're gonna be recording with these headphones. So that means you're gonna be using them for a long period of time, either recording vocals or playing instruments. Hey, and you wanna be comfortable, right? So let's go right ahead and get to these headphones. The first headphones are the Sony MDR-75. 506s. These are my handy dandy headphones. You will always see a pair of these. Well, I have four pair in my home recording studio or my large format facility radio. These headphones are extremely dependable. You're going to see them in most studios anyway. And the thing about it, they are really cheap. The price on these headphones is $89, which is really inexpensive. And the impedance is 63 ohms. Hey, that's above 25, but it's not that big of a deal. Unless you're in the booth and you want to have a headphone amp you don't really need it i'm just telling you guys i've been using these a long time and the frequency response is 10 hertz to 20k hey that's all you need for real and last but least the comfortability is a six and that's because i do have to replace these cups on these headphones every two years or so it's just normal wear and tear they sink really close to the plastic where the um headphone cup is and it's just really annoying but hey they are easy to change and fix and the next headphones are the sennheiser's hd 280s. These headphones are absolutely phenomenal. These are some of my favorite headphones in the world. Favorite inexpensive headphones. Um, these headphones are extremely comfortable um, and they are for a whopping price of $99. That's a good price for these headphones because you can record with them and you can mix on them. Unlike the Sonys, the Sonys, I forgot to mention with the Sonys, they are a bit harsh. Um, they exaggerate the sound a little, but they are decent enough to record with. But these are actually a little better in sound quality and the quality of the headphone build is a tad bit better as well. And the impedance is 64. That's just basically one ohm up above the Sony. Hey, you can't really tell the difference. So you don't really need a headphone app. These work just perfect without them. Like I said, unless you want to have them in your control room or your studio proper or your ISO booth and you want to have a headphone app in there so the artist can control it and turn it up how they want to, up to desire. Hey, that's okay as well. And the frequency response is eight hertz all the way up to 25 hertz. That's more than enough with these headphones projections and comfortability an eight hey these headphones are pretty comfortable i'm not going to give them a 10 because the material that the headphone cup is made out of it gets a little sticky and the last headphones are my favorite headphones on this entire list they're the barodynamics dt 770s a lot of you guys saw me unbox these last year um i got the 250 ohms which are perfect for me i don't need a headphone amp but like i said it's 50 50 half of my professional colleagues prefer a headphone amp with these and the other half don't so, such as myself but hey, it's all about preference. They sound just perfect to me. I use these for mixing, for recording, so, but these headphones are really fantastic, guys, and they're priced at $179. I've even seen them come down to $149, which is really great. I wish I would have purchased them at that time because I purchased them 
around this price, 179, 189, something like that. But they are really phenomenal. And then the impedance is 250 ohms. They do have an 80 version of this where it's gonna be a little louder because the impedance is, is quite lower. So you will get that ability to not have to use a headphone amp. Like I said, it's a 50-50 split with my professional colleagues in the industry. The frequency response is five Hertz all the way up to 35K. That is more than enough. I'm just gonna tell you guys, these headphones do perform fantastic sonically. They are, like I said, my favorite on this entire list. And I do notice the sound quality. There is a distinct difference in between these and a lower grade headphone. And the comfortability on these, in my opinion, is a 10 because of the velour feel. I haven't had to replace the cups on these for a long time. I've used them throughout my professional career. I've never seen them wear and tear. Hey, you're gonna wanna clean them every now and then because of course over time you get that little dirt and you want it to be pristine and that nice little gray velour is really silky and, and very pillow feeling. Um, so I love the cuffs on these headphones because they're extremely comfortable. So you can record for hours. Don't go past six or eight like me sometimes. Just do the proper um, engineer rule. You can listen to four to six, and but rest them for double that time. So if you listen for four hours, you rest for eight hours. So you guys get the gist of it. Well, I really do hope that this gave you guys some type of guide on picking the best headphones for your home studio solution. When it comes to finding those perfect headphones, it can be really difficult, but these are my top headphones. This is not the gospel. Let's not get that twisted or let's not make this into a crazy argument. Like, no, those aren't the best. That's crap, blah, blah, blah. Hey, this is my opinion and this is what I use to make the great records that I've made and record the great records that I've recorded. And I know that you guys have your opinions and I know you guys probably record some great records as well, but like I said, these are just opinions and my perspective and experience with these headphones. But yeah, don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Archie Beats and Twitter at Archie Beats with a Z. You guys are absolutely phenomenal. Thank you guys so much. I really do appreciate it. This is your boy Archie Beats and I'm signing off.